the reason even I can't travel is because of my daughter. Pia na pitia hizo. She does a alipitia hizo. She does a repi. Your daughter? Yeah. When? Mi no na ama shida zangu zili toka tu hapa. From the start. Because na jari vingi kuzi keep like an. Mwenye alikuwa kitambu kabisa. But all is in vain because <laughs> the same spirit good morning good afternoon good evening in a depend he video ulaiwasa gapi one of the lead hapa chaka mwenye tulifanyia interview kabla tuone ni nani wacha kwanza tuone the previous video tukarudi ya kasema i have to stay there for almost two good hours mm ni mgoje kwanza so mimi nikakaa tena kwa tu hapo akiwa kwa nyumba akiwa kwa nyumba na dogi zake ama na dogi niko na mbili huko nyuma ya gari uh -huh. hapo kwa kiti ya nyuma uh -huh. those two hours alikuwa anachukua buduki na hizo dogi zingine mbili uh -huh. so, there is a time bad nilimpata akizishika shika like unaona yeye ametoa longi uh -huh. umbo zina ramba ramba sound that's and kissing the dogs that is what is he normally does with his dogs. We don't know about to spend the night here today. Don't know. Only God. Kati kakalia kulala. Kwa hiyo alikati ya kulala ndio nani karao fulani akakuja. Akanembea mimi I'm going to help you to go to a certain police station where they help ladies. Na jumi nilikuwa na haja na usaidizi nikaamua nikaitikia. Kwenye huko alawa disema hivi atanisaidia I decided ni sawa. So me had to like need kill saidizi wake. Alinibeba na gari yake ya upolisi and it had all that tagged police. Kila kitu na alikuwa na uniform. So me kwenda na yeye akaenda kabadilisha gari. Akanembea can't use my car cause we have to use the other van so that I can take you as fast ndio tufike mapema ndio shughulikiwe mambo zako. Mimi nikamwambia it's okay sir. So mimi kuingia kwa ile van that man akanipeleka we went to a long distance from Tabuk to Kenda Desert ya Tabuk. Yeah. Aka drove ni kwa huko kwa Desert. So when tulifika kwa Desert but before ende kwa Desert first alinipeleka kwa hao ya kwanza. Hiyo yeah. hao he gave me some water. Yeah. I was feeling just dizzy, dizzy, but unge anguka, mm. just dizziness. <laughs> so, kwa nyumba, he slept mm. with me. Mm. You see? Na badu ukarao, anasema na nisaidia. Mm -hmm. Siyezi jitua hapo, in the place nyame nipeleka nifa. Mm -hmm. Akani chukua tena na gari, akani drive tena. Akani peleka wapi, akani peleka kwa desert. Where there is a, kukona maikubo, kwa tabu, kuna desert fulani. So, mwenye tulienda kwa hiyo desert, akaniambia, Akanembe, you have to settle, sit here and wait. Ia nikona ametoa hema. Hiyo yeah. hema kai set pahali. Uh -huh. After kukiseti, akanifunga mikono. Uh -huh. Na kunifunga mdomo na kitamba. Uh -huh. So after kunifunga, he took advantage of me. So I was like, niko confused. Aka kulept tena. Yeah, he left me. So, singe jitua, ile hadi mikono umefungua, huwezi, mikono ni iwa mekushikilia, yani like he's just there, bora tuwa kuharibu venya nataka. Yes, here she is today. Nataka kujua progress, imekua aje. Since then, amekua hapa. How are you? I'm good. You look beautiful. Thank you. He, siku kuwacha hithi? Ni good. Maisha inaeda aje? Nendele afiti. How is chaka? Chaka is good. Yeah. How is the babies? The babies are good. They are good. Yeah. And they're in school. Mm. Yeah, I thank God for that. Tulikuwa hapa yeah. sometimes back. Five months there. Yeah. Five months now. Yeah. Uh, did you get help? Yeah. Ulipata usaidizi? Yeah, nilipata usaidizi. Uh -huh. And I thank God for everything. Uh -huh. uh, Jukama see God. Uh -huh. Uh, my kids could never be in school today, mm -hmm. and I'm grateful for mm -hmm. Shule. I don't know how to say thank you, but mm -hmm. actually, <laughs> thank you to everyone who supported me and my kids mm -hmm. through prayers, mm -hmm. financial, mm -hmm. and kuniongelesha, mm -hmm. and I'm grateful to God for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about your parents? Yeah, my mom. 
she is God and she asked for my forgiveness and tukasameheana mm. my dad mm. also he is good mm. um, uh, one of my fam my sisters my brothers wako poa pia but i know god is there for me and mm. my kids that's all i can say mm. yeah Abu tuambie mm. watoto wako wamesaidika na jia gani kwa wengine na pia baby wamesaidika aje Okay uh, remembering last year 2023 the whole year hawakuwa shule and uh, coming this year nya tumeingia 2024 changes came after my school wameingia shule I thank everyone who supported me there kuingisha shule hapa Shaka Primary and uh, I'm grateful uh, they were also bought for clothes food and stuff za nyumba zenye atukwa nazo and i'm grateful to god for that mm. yeah i know we started from sleeping from tulikuwa tunalala kwa carpet and i thank god size tunalalia kitanda and uh, a lot of changed by the way mm. yeah wenye wanakuocha hapa ndio walikusaidia yeah wenye wali wananiocha hapa ndio wamenisaidia mm-hmm. and i am grateful and kitu mimi naweza sema naweza sema god our bless sana Mm-hmm. and awazidishie miaka mingi na whatever you give may god give you double mm-hmm. and mbarikiwe sana mm-hmm. okay i would like to, to just uh, sing a short song for you guys mm-hmm. for the support you gave me yes. and uh, to tell you thank you sa kikuyu song kinda otugata yo matugata ne wata na jera nyimi Otugata yo matugata ne wata na jela nene ne monyo ne mwejo nadhani ne negotola de daudi ne mwagenya ne mwagenya gai wa moyo muradhime ne weruteri na wedoshio makobe manyu maroihura ne mwagenya ne mwagenya gai wa moyo muradhime ne veru teri na wedo shio makobe manyu maroi hora that a short call us i would say thank you mm-hmm. to everyone who supported me and hmm. that song is nice yeah. niako no it's not my song mm-hmm. ni a certain musician mm. yeah that's so good hiyo song inasema nini kwa sababu kwa mtu wabaye hajaelewa okay that song means i am saying grateful to what you have done to me guys and you have shown me that you are Jonathan and on my side I'm Daudi and uh, for may your territories and your everything yani mubarikiwe na muishi kuzidishiwa mema na Mungu mm. uh, inakaa <coughs> vile ulisaidiwa ina sink kwako sana why is it so emotional i never expected this kuona mm at tongo kwa shule and the only thing i wanted is for them to be in school and for the love those pe- the people showed me and mapenzi yenye siko na tarajia na zaonesha na kila mtu and i'm so grateful to that for your support and your love and for uh, yeah a lot of mothers came on my side and they are talking to me like my mothers may god bless you somewhere like my dads may god bless you sisters and brothers may god bless you and actually i can say i have friends and family and i have sisters and brothers and i also have mothers and fathers and i can say god our bless na zidi kuwabariki yeah since then mm. kutoka ufanya hiyo video kuna watu hadi wa leo they are your friends yeah when i'm down when i lose hope i normally talk to a few of them mm. and they have always been there for me so nikiwa like sometimes so anafika to an extent that na feel niko too low and i call some of them and they give me the courage to move on mm. sometimes i make my kids my best friends because when i talk to them sometimes when i have problems i normally talk with my kids na sometimes they give me that love of a mother and Mm. They tell me mom itakuwa tu poa so <coughs> I just have the courage to move on with life. Mm. Yeah. Kutoka ushe hiyo story yako ni challenges gani zingine umepatana nazo? Yeah, I've gone through a lot of challenges. Yeah, some mocked me. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, some said that it was a lie, but all in all, I prayed to God who is in heaven and everything. Ikakuwa tu sawa. Yeah. Despite mm, kusikia watoto wako walienda shule, mm-hmm. walikuwa wamekaa one year kama hawajaenda shule. Yeah. So there was still hope. I had na, hope, yeah. Na Mungu akakuja na mtu akakusaidia. Congrats yeah. to that, eh? Yeah. Mm, wewe mwenyewe kuna vile ulisaidika? Yeah, at first I put niliaka business ya yeah, mm. viatu that was on December. Mm-hmm. Then ya yeah, nikakam kufika to an extent that viatu was ending, mm-hmm. so I had to change the business. I started selling uh, manguo of which I'm doing now, selling the clothes and plus na market ya wase jobs now like if you have new fashionist clothes na kuza koko like I wear them and then i do a video with them or even i can do a video from tiktok then i can do it like ni enda shoot ni pigo hizo picha na hizo nguo and then i market your clothes ukipata customer that's where you're gonna pay me mm-hmm. but yeah i want to fanyanga if someone in chaka wants the clothes mm. i call them wananiekea kwa parcel wanantumanishia nyeli so na pick up nyeri mm-hmm. yeah so <coughs> to say me wewe ulisaidika mm. na kuna watu pia ndio na watu wengi sana wako golf wakini chat wakiniuliza they would like to talk to you mm. kwa nini haujarudi golf okay uh, due to what happened to me in Saudi Arabia sijawahi heal i try all my best to heal i try all my best to forget everything that happened but inakwanga ngumu kusahau Mm. But all in all I try my best to be good and to forget that pain. Mm. Uh, raping is not something that is easy. Sije mm. yenda cancelling and I just cancel myself through music. I just heal nikifikiria sana I only listen to music that makes me heal more. Mm. Cuz uh, most of the time I talk to my friends. Uh, one of my friend mwenye naongelesha anga and uh, she's always there for me. Yeah juu umesema haujapata guidance and counseling mm. na na juu uliogea mambo mengi yeah. ni jambo gani inakutraumatize sana ukikumbuka wakati ulikuwa golf most of the time when i sleep na kanga hivi na waza what happened like those kind of flipping ku like the, the first man the person who left me was using her gun kuni threaten with gun kuni learn those kind of things yani hata nikikumbuka i feel just Sometimes I'll cry alone when I'm in the house. Mm. I lose hope and I ask myself why only me because I feel myself like I'm rejected somehow but when I see my kids I see their love and I say God when do you need me our daughter and uswa ifanya ni fanya kitu yenye itaifanya ni regret just mm. give me that courage to move on and that love mm. I have for my kids. Yeah kutoka ushe your story mentally do you think that there is some moves you may make yeah there is some like being there for myself mm-hmm. and being there for my kids is my first priority mm. and i have to be myself and always i have to guide my kids and always stand by their side no mm. matter the situation no matter the pain no matter everything i have to be there for my kids mm. yeah Najua you are still a young lady. Yeah. Hakuna watu walikuwa nakupigia wakisema will you marry me? How, how did you handle that? Umeihado aje hiyo? Okay. Me what I believe in life so far so good. Hiyo miaka yote nimeishi kutoka 2014 up to now being a single mother. What I know is that there is no man can love you with your two kids unconditionally ama hakuna mwanaume anaweza kuchukua na watoto wako akae na wao like it's so painful to see that thing and that's why i decided to be that single mom forever mm-hmm. and <coughs> when i see my kids i love na semanga tu watoto ndio kila kitu kwangu i take them as my friends my lovers my everything if i want to sing with them i do everything with them mm-hmm. because sije yamini kuna mapenzi hii dunia there is no love mm-hmm. from a man I know love is for my kids. And that is why I love myself and I love my kids more. Cuz often I love posting my kids more than anything else in this world. Mm. Yeah. Sai wewe unaweza jua mtu wako serious anataka kukupenda. 
never ama s- ume give up na love <sighs> mm. to serious sikila mtu ako serious in life i only know one man who have seen akiwa serious but most of the time na kamingi na juliza what if he's not serious what if Yes ni meme tu wengi wananitaka but I ask myself what if how are serious they just want to use me and just dump me like the other ones mm-hmm. so I have to be focused on myself like ni focus na life kwanza ni jijenge ni shughulikie mm-hmm. watoto wangu kwanza mm-hmm. they mean the world to me more than anything else mm-hmm. yeah kuna mtu ana akona fikra kama wewe mm-hmm. na mepitia ka wewe Abu, mu, unaweza muambiaje make to know it's like okay if you have ever gone through like your parents have hated you and there is no love about parents any how they kupenda never hate your mother or your father love them unconditionally even though they hate you wasaidie penye utaweza and god will always bless you hatred comes from parents or even friends or sisters and brothers usiwe wachukia wewe shikuwapenda like I'm doing so I love my mom and I love my dad no matter what even my sister I love them no matter what and also never hate yourself love yourself the way you are even though you are a single mom be there for your kids love your kids more than anything else or live and love them like your best friend ukwe hapo that's all I can say mm. Mm. do you think kuna mistake kulifanya ukua golf ikakupitishia life yenye huko na expect You know me kitu yenye naona ili happen for me it's like when I was in form 3 I'll say it started in Kenya mm. 2013 uh, no it was not 2013 it was on 20 yeah it was 2013 ikiwa form 3 I remember that time my dad alikuwa ametuacha and my aunt brought a certain pastor akuja ombe kwetu and the pastor alikuja kwetu akatupata vizuri and he was praying for us and uh, it was like that so all of a suddenly mm. i after kwenda nae kwa shosho yo pastor we had to kutoka kwa mom to nae kwa shosho dia end ya kombe shosho after anti alikuwa amewaambia shida zetu zote so kwenda kwa shosho the pastor had to take advantage of me so i didn't leave and after giving me a certain anointing oil ilikuwa anointing oil ya white that made me quite confused let alone in reach but ashara ni live that time was a virgin so mimi naona mashida zangu zilitoka tu hapo from the start because mm. na jaribingi kuzi keep like an mwenye alikuwa kitambo kabisa but all is in vain because the same spirit mimi naona mashida zangu zilitoka tu hapo from the start mm was na jaribingi kuzi keep like an mwenye alikuwa kitambo kabisa but all is in vain because the same spirit <coughs> sorry about that sorry about that <laughs> the reason even i can't travel it's because of my daughter <laughs> pia na pitia hizo shida za alipitizo shida za ripi your daughter yeah <laughs> when na acha tu kidogo i never knew that you didn't say about that you are small daughter <laughs> first attempt till it happened time nilikuwa saudi and alikuwa na ya time nilikuwa nimemwachia mom so when they told me about that story yake kurepiwa so nikawaambia i had to call a certain guy who was my friend nikamwambia asaidie mom a certain amount apeleke mtoi then yale so hospital ni anga liwe kama kosa so venye walipeleka kambati yako sawa So me after coming back to Kenya again I got me a job to a fast no na bado nilikuwa nimechia mtoi mom the same same guy attempted to do the same same thing so I had to move from where I was nikachukua uba nikaenda nikatafuta mtoto 
nikamkuta alikuwa mchafu so head trick nikampeleka Kayole one hospital so kuenda daktari kumwangalia akakuta yes alikuwa raped so after talking to the doctor akanituma mabalusi so i was like time nilienda mabalusi nilishindwa kurudia results tena cuz i was like god confused sina maisha by the way like kama mimi napitia the same thing and my daughter is still there so si kurudi mabalusi tena so nilishindwa kurudi mabalusi tena kuendea results so i was like after i kupewa pills za alv za ku idle za one ma- za one month ndio asikuwa ameabukizo virusi za kuzuia so hizo ndizo alipewa so mimi kutoka hiyo siku siku irudi mama ruse tena i was confused nikakuwa like i don't have any person to cry to i just had to talk to my daughter so nimekam tena ichaka I was at home and a uh, certain guy tried to do the same same thing to my daughter but that one I took it serious and I took the guy to the police station where she was beaten jo alikuwa anataka kulana na mtoto tena that is why you see Chris I can't go somewhere like I have to be there for my daughter every time cuz it's more good to be a friend to her more than anything else jo nikaamua kutembea saa hizi ni mwache it's so painful si ati ni kazi si zikata kuenda but sina mtu wa kuachia watoto like the way I can be with them I have to be there for her na try kumwongelesha na try kumcancel and I'm there for her sitaki kuona akipotea ama akicheza na even boys I just want to be there for my daughter because I know the pain I'm going through it's so tough mwenye ulijua anaifanya hivyo kwa mtoto wako hakuna watu wamchukua Nilienda mpaka nilienda police station ya Kayole for the first time uh, nikaenda na barua yenye nilikuwa nimepewa kutoka mama Rusi I don't know what happened nikiwa hapo I found myself far, far, far away from home nikiwa nimesimama peke yangu after kutoka hapo I found the father kutoka nitoke hapo I found the father of the guy alikuwa amepeana home kwa 30000 Na kukuza ndio niende nipeleke kijana nimrudishe Kayole one police station nikakuta shatoroka So I had no other means to do it So ikabidi but even yak nilikuwa nimeshamuuliza maswali kadhaa ukijana kabla hapo teju nilikuwa tumempinga vita yenye inafaa ndio akasema yes alikuwa amefanyia mtoto hivyo alikuwa anamwingisha vidole like and doing like alikuwa anataka amkalie all the stuff so I was like I don't want to hear these stories again mm. and after kupotea hivyo that's why I decided to see kana robi acha nikaifa away from my family and all to be around after all yeye yote napitia i know it's painful me who come cast the end cancelling i'm the one who's cancelling my kid I have to be there for her. Mtoto wako huwa nakumbuka hiyo ama alisahau. Huwa nakumbuka. There is a time nilimkuta akinaletia her friend. I was like nikamuuliza bwana ujaisa how your story you have to forget it. Atuko huko tena. We have to be us. Stop sharing the story. Like you forget it. Hata mimi nilikuwa hapo obviously hajui na muongea shanga tu Kiswahili cuz hajui lugha nyingine. So mimi na mombianga tu asahau and I'm there for her and I have to be there for her. Yeah. So your time singe kuambia cuz I'm traumatized crazy like na go I was going through hell. Being rejected and being no one was there for you singeza kusema kila kitu. Mtoto wako wakati anakumbuka hiyo. Ah uh, huwa ina affect ama tu akotu mtoto akotu na ile muzi ya kawaida ya mtoto akikumbuka wewe na affect sometime ana behavior like ni mtu anataka kwenda kucheza tu na vijana you find her kenyo na mkanya ndio anaenda kufanya mm-hmm. so i have to be there like like nikitoka shughuli zangu lazima nikoe hapo ni muangalie cuz i'm there for her mm. yeah. do you think this is a spiritual fight 
me you don't know to what I like it's a spiritual because tell me what you know because the first time you talked eh? I would like you to talk it out what do you know if this thing started with me kwa huyo pastor and when the time kabla okay me after kufanya yote na pastor i never talked to anyone i was in form 3 nilienda shule mimi mwenyewe and i talked to my own friend nikamwambia the whole story and i told her may it be a secret between me and you i never trusted my own family i never trusted anyone if my aunt and as a to a pastor kutoka anywhere i'm let her home dear to ombe who else could I have trusted she could trust me to your heart so i had to go and talk to me mwenye niliana nikaongelesha my friend and i told her everything so before traveling to saudi that is the time i told everyone what happened to me i told them it is already too late na kama ilikuwa ni haribiwa maisha hii design sikumaliza form four and kama ilikuwa happiness ya mtu mwenye alifanya hivi nisimalize form 4 ni sawa but i'm grateful god and nilipea mtoto na alinipea msichana na kijana and i have to be always there for them na lazima niwatafutie ni that is why sometimes mimi najitumanga chris i love going like agi me i used to go most of my free times nikitoka hizo uh, fashionist za manguo mimi nendanga na tafutanga tu I have a friend of mine mwenye unisaidia gari yake and I najifunzanga kwake cuz I know myself I need to look for a good job to cater for these kids mm-hmm. even though it's being a driver I'll have to do anything for these kids even though it's to do what but as long as I'm staying in Kenya with these two kids I have to do anything for them mm-hmm. yeah najua uko na mambo mengi kuona inaoka kwa kicho yako. Ni jambo gani huwa una feel ni mzito sana? Like ukikumbuka una feel like kama hii inaweza nitoka kabisa. Ni mtoto wangu. Mm. And okay. Another thing that really ni hurt sana the time I went to visit my aunt nikuwa with my first pregnant ya my daughter nilienda kwake huyo tu mwenye alikuwa ameleta pasta. Na kumbuka tulikuwa tumekaa na yeye aliniambia unaona nikikuja home huyo pasta alikuwa ameona ukika okay kata shule na ukiwa umepata mimba nikamwambia na sidio ili happen and bona huku hapo uniambie hivyo you have told me when it is too late ungeniambia yote mimi nilikuwa huko ningeshajua what was there for me mm-hmm. but wewe umeniambia when it is too late so the only thing i need for me i'm good and i heal myself slowly by slowly but ili na nisubuanga ni mtoto wangu msichana inch mm-hmm. like It's open for Chris to on to Tom Dogger keep it as this kind of thing. Mm. She's too young. She's going nine months, nine years and I have to be there for her. So I have to do everything kumketa. Sometimes I do try to take her for counseling huko chaka. Sometimes yani timenye si uko poa like niko down I have to look for someone to talk to her. Mm. Yeah. Hapa sasa umepata friends hapa chaka. I guess I have only one friend. Any gonna to love him more than just this lady who is here with me. Yeah, what I'm in idea. Mm. Now many on Galicia. And most of them when you are they are always there for me mm-hmm. when I need them. Mm. And I'm grateful to God for that. Okay. Yeah. That's so good. I salute them as well. Kwa sababu naona huko kwenu giza imeanza kuingia. Nataka tu nikuuliza kitu kingine moja pekee. What is your plan after all? Dio msaidiwa watoto wameenda shule. Ni nini unaona sasa huwa inakulebea? Okay. Me I love doing ku marketia was ku marketia yani ku marketia mtu manguo. Na nah, tell them maybe kuna mtu anaweza kupatia hiyo pia. I love marketing clothes. Mm. If I can find someone mwenye anaweza taka ni marketia manguo, I'm good in that and uh, I'll be grateful and another thing kitenye naweza taka kujua sana I would love knowing to naweza penda kujua driving like kwenda shule ya driving 
that is what I want to know so that I can look for a job to cater for these kids because I need my kids more than anything else in this world. I have to be there for them after all have happened to me in my life. So and uh, uh, I don't have anything else to say but me as a summer too thanks at strong wako shule saizi at least wana soma and najua 2023 hawakusoma but this 2024 at wana soma and wako shule and i can see some they normally go to shons and naona improvement kidogo even though hawaja jok soma vile sana and i'm grateful to god for that yeah. so that's all i can say mm. By the way wasichana wakifanya driving na kwa advantage kubwa sana kwao. Yeah 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 that one. Uh, uh, hey, kwa nini uliona driving? I've never thought of that. Because <laughs> uh, a lot of people have been coming to my inbox or can you listen kama najua ku drive? Oh. So there is okay. a opportunity kuna opportunity yangu nipate job ya driving cuz I love driving. Mm. And that is hiyo ndio kitu nimeishi kusema. Mm. Ikiwa, I would like to not to drive the nipate job at least it's more pay in mm. a point naweza somesha watoto penye wanataka and mm. I have to be always there for my kids mm-hmm. yeah any single mother <coughs> mwenye ako na idea me I will always support <coughs> hey uko msijali uko na <coughs> msijali uko homa hapa tuko ni chaka mahali upepo inapitana kupitana anybody anybody any single woman any single woman mwenye ako na idea support them ajua watu wengi kuna wababa pia wako single fathers mm-hmm. and they know the pain yeah and also ya mtu kulea mtoto wa kwa i would love yake. someone who can talk to me like a sister brother and also like a dad and a mom by the way or even a grandmother or a grandfather I love that niongeleshwe tu sometimes i'm not okay but nikipata good a friend to talk to me and know nitakuwa mm. fit mm. yeah kabla utopatie na baya kwa ya simu kwa mtu hakuona the previous story kwa sababu tumepata wageni wengine wapi ya watu wame subscribe wengine hawakusikia story yako eh abu ongeresha mamako mm. ongeresha mamako na sister yako <laughs> mom Uh, whatever i can say wherever you are me i love you so much and i adore you and you mean the world to me i know you carried me for nine good months in your womb and akuna pahali ulinitupa i don't know what came between us and ukakuja uh, like i know even you mom you have gone through a lot and i know your story it's so painful so me just love you and i know one day one time utaka life poor and i know i'm not going to die premature death i'm going to build you for you i'm going to build for you a house you have always dreamt for ni kuweke job and you live a better life than the way you are today i love you mom and to you my sister najua huwa tusikizani na wewe and tunakorofeshana You have never seen me as a good sister to you. But please. Kama ni shay kosea just forgive me and we live a peaceful life like sisters who love each other like blood sisters. And I know God is going to take us far. At least we support mom to mjenge akai maisha poa. No one was born to be poor. But we have to be together to lose our mom and to be always there for her. Also to my dad, I love you so much, dad. And I adore you, dad, too. You are too good to me. My sisters, my twin sister and brother, I love you so much. And to my small sister also, I love you all. That is so good. Hata kama family imekupitishia you forget it na unaanza kuwapenda that is where the blessing starts <coughs> hata kama walikuwa wamefanya nini ama nini ah wa forgive tu na uwapende abutupatie na baya yako ya simu 
Mimi naitwa Anne Eunice Wangeshige Tata. Sisi tulikuwa tumekuja tu follow up. Lakini mambo haishangi. Hata mtu wabaya ameogea story mahali hazijaisha bado ziko. Wezi ogea useme umemaliza kuongea. Things will always come. That's why tunapeanaga hii platform to equate therapy. Kwa sababu light inatupotea. Kuna kitu ubayo ungependa kuongeza? Maybe kuna kitu haujawaambia. Kuna kitu ungependa kuambia? Tukimaliza. Okay. Kitu ya mwisho nyeneza taka ni someone who can talk to my daughter. My small daughter cuz most of the time hata mimi ushindo kumuongelesha cuz So me, I know myself where I've come from. So I need someone who can talk to her and even I need I need counseling. Yeah. Mtu anaweza ongelesha katoto yake. Welcome wa. Welcome, welcome. May the grace of God be with you. May the love of God be with you all the time. Let us remember there is one God who can help you. Let us remember that we are not losing hope. There is someone above the sky who is with us and that is Christ Jesus. If you want to share your story with us, call us on 0700484190. Call SMS was up. Na utatupata. Have a nice time. Bye bye.